What is up my ride is reviewing a protein powder that I've always wanted to do for you guys. I'm going to do this in the beginning just so I can let you guys know. I have a flip four up for giveaway. This is going to be part of the giveaway that I just announced for 9,000 subscribers. So definitely like this video, comment down below. Make sure to be subscribed, turn post notifications on, and you guys know the rest. Let's get into the video. Oh, look at that. That's like a perfect size box for this. So. I'm gonna review both of these. Um, I got mocha cappuccino for the whey protein. I'm gonna take it after the workout just to tell you guys how to taste. I am also going to do some pre-workout. I got this stuff. I've been doing a lot of research on what's the best stuff. A lot of people recommended Nitro Surge. That last Optimum Nutrition, I had a bad batch or something. Both me and my cousin had like this extreme painful urination that I've never had with it before they switch to the new formula all of a sudden my cousin's telling me about his pee really burning and I'm like dude it's all in your head and then the next day I actually went over and worked out with him and then later that night I hadn't gone to the bathroom in a long time which is weird because I pounded out like two or three water bottles and uh, I hadn't peed yet and then I peed and it stung so bad it literally was like a sensation like I had a UTI or something to get to this bad boy now I'm going to be mixing it up in my water and then I'm going to be showing you guys kind of my lifting regimen and seeing if there's any difference I will tell you guys so following the instructions exact one scoop of nitro surge into your water I am going to give it the benefit of the doubt a lot of these pre-workouts tell you to wait up to 20 minutes so let's see how this makes me feel we're gonna take some now um, also fun fact I have a throbbing like headache that I've had all day today. I woke up this morning at seven for the new job, like I told you guys about, went super well. I stayed out from seven to one and I got all the clean out but done um, as far as like the selling aspect of like what I needed to sell. Well, I'm gonna also be reviewing this, not strictly on if it works, but also taste. So I know that's a big deal to a lot of people. If you can't drink the pre-workout, there's no point in getting it. This Nitro Surge, they claim to have laser focus, increased strength, powerful pumps, and endless energy. And what I liked about it is it was very straight to the point. It has seven ingredients that they list on the side, and it all sounds like something that just is in a bunch of bullshit. Um, also, something I really like about this is there's no creatine in it because I need to stop taking creatine. Every time I start taking a pre-workout or something, I find that there's creatine in it, like Optimum Nutrition. Luckily, I got their way this time, so I can use this as more of a meal replacement on top of adding protein into my diet. I don't wanna start holding water weight and everything like that. I, it's just not something that I want. All right, we're gonna give this a taste. It's definitely a blue raspberry flavor. And out of a lot of other flavors, this isn't insanely strong, I will say that. But to a lot of people, like my cousin and other people like that, he likes to get through it quick and if it has an aftertaste that's a benefit to him whereas i kind of like to enjoy it as a drink too but that's not really a necessity and the flavor is not bad at all it's just very low profile all right guys we're gonna give it 20 minutes to work and then i'm going to go and do my normal workout regimen and see if it switches anything up i know the last time i did this i did like a bicep i think strength so we're gonna do chest and shoulders and i will try to bump out more weight see if uh, it's giving me this feeling like I can bump out more weight. <laughs> All right, guys, if you if you wondered if this stuff gave you the pre-workout poops, which is like, for some reason, the ingredients in pre-workout sometimes make you have to poop. Yeah, it definitely does, but I haven't started my workout yet. That's why I normally take it 20 minutes before. Now, it's only been, I would say, 10 minutes so far, but I definitely want to try this stuff out at full peak uh working today i have i was outside from seven to one just non-stop lifting stuff i was going out and helping my grandpa load trash emptying the trash out of this storage unit and all that stuff so i just need the energy well guys here's a change of plan that's random but also kind of cool so i'm going to actually be running up to my cousin's house to do the workout portion so i'm going to bring my tripod to record some of that and i'm going to like try to explain to you guys if it helps but i'm going to show you guys kind of the workout process that we do at my cousin's everyone always asks on live stream when i say that me and my cousin like bump out about the same amount of weights and we're doing it right around the same amount of time and we do it for hours at a time. They're like, how the heck do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how we do it because literally him and me together 
like push each other so much that I bust my butt. So I'm gonna be dead in these next clips. I can promise you that. Standing up too, that's even harder. All right, go. Let's go, Watson. Let's go, Watson. <laughs> Dude, I'm just typing, bro. Oh, I can barely even do these, dude. Uh-huh. I can barely do these because I started doing 30s at home. Huh. <laughs> I'm sick there. <laughs> See, now you can you get a better, a better view that way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you see that stuff in your face? I thought you were recording all this and none of it's gonna go into a video. <laughs> like you'll literally just look at your backwards <laughs> and you can't see crap. <laughs> you can't see crap. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> Who would have watched that? I get pumped up first. <laughs> just pump up a couple pumped out a couple of things. Everybody's gotta hold the phone sideways. <laughs> it doesn't record the right way. Let's go, Mike. Come on, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. Come on, Come on Brandon. <laughs> Sound like my dad. <laughs> On the map. How many are you going for? Thirty. Right, both arms. <laughs> I, I literally laugh. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. Dude, it looks good from that side. You need to start doing them. Come on, boy. Do these. Come on, boy. Yeah, do these on my camera. I usually do them down the hallway. If you want me. Bad. I can't hear stop for a second. What, are you taking over? Why are you even sitting, dude? Go like that. Huh? Yeah. Like Get as much, much of an angle as possible on your bicep so you're curling in, dude. It, it looks good, dude. It looks freaking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Put your elbow out a little bit like this, even more, so that you get like, yeah. You want to just try to focus on the lighting to get as big of a freaking <laughs> curl as possible. If you pump out a hundred, I'll give you a hundred bucks, okay? If I pump out a hundred, I'll give him a hundred bucks. I'll get tired at like forty. A hundred a lot. There's no way. I said I'll give it. I said on my feet. There's a hundred. I'll give him a hundred bucks. Okay. He's not gonna get a hundred heavy. It's a lot. Yeah. He's doing cheat reps on me though. And he's still not gonna get it yet. That's good. I just did six good ones. The whole way down. <laughs> he's like squeezing my arms and it's true, Gabby. Yeah, it is. It is true. Ah! Guys usually have stomachs. I started recording us. Girl, up. Then at the top. Turn it. You have it turned like I'll the whole time. I'll get it. Okay. Normal curl. Turn it at the top. To like flex the bicep. The whole way around. All right, guys. I would say that the pre-workout is a lot less like you get jitters and you feel it. You don't feel it at all. It's honestly like it came on out of nowhere, but I definitely feel it now because I'm just nonstop hitting the weights. Brands like over here, like sleeping. We're gonna try this. Oh my God! Look at that. Try <laughs> trying my. Protein powder with water, because oh, Brennan won't let me. Brennan won't let me drink his milk. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna throw up. If I throw up, it's your fault. Smell, dude. Come smell it. <laughs> it smells like. It smells worse than that crap that you. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chug it, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You're gonna throw it up, you out of my room. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, to be honest. Well, I'll try it when I get home with milk, but drink like six six scoops of that a day. I'll try it when I get home with milk.
we're back at home. Make sure to drop a fat like if you haven't already. Your boy is putting in an insane amount of time and effort into these videos. Worked out for an hour with Brendan. It might not appear like I'm doing that on camera, but I 1000% am. Now, I wanna give this a fair shot before I end the video and I wanted to get all the footage. So, I have milk in here and a little, little bit of coffee. I actually had a mocha left over from yesterday from Duncan. I was really short on milk. We're going through milk like crazy, but uh, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. So I added a little bit of coffee just to make up the difference of the lack of milk. I'm gonna give it a fair shot next time I'm on live with some milk, just complete milk and let you guys know, but this is as close as I can get and this should be very accurate to what it is. All right guys, I don't know if you missed it before, but this is a mocha cappuccino. So essentially it is like a, a mocha coffee. That's why I added a little bit of mocha from Dunkin' to equal it out, but it's not gonna really change the flavor that much as we're gonna give it an honest review now. Now that I'm not mixing it with water, it wasn't bad with water, but I held my nose anyways because I really wasn't trying to drink water mixed with any chocolate flavor. Honestly, it's probably one of the best gold standard flavors I've tried. I don't really like a lot of gold standard flavors, to be completely honest with you. A lot of them fall short. I've had birthday cakes, stuff like that. I mean, it's not like impossible to get them down, but they're not the best tasting. They're not like something that's comparable to something you want to drink every day, you look forward to drinking. You don't really have a strong chocolate flavor, like an overpowering chocolate, which is good because I don't care for like something that's very, very strong that gives you kind of like fake chocolate undertones and stuff like that. It tastes kind of like coffee, which um, what I read online, supposedly there actually is coffee in the ingredients of this. A small portion of it has coffee in it, which is reassuring because it's like, uh, it's 11 right now, <laughs> go figure. I just got home, so I'm recording this and I'm gonna have to edit, but that's gonna be fun. It would be so much better with milk. Uh, I can tell you that right now. It tastes kind of watered down because I think the coffee was a little bit watered down. But as you see, I'm not like holding my nose or anything. For gold standard, it's not bad. If you guys have struggled with gold standard in the past, um, this is probably your best bet. I think I'm kind of spoiled because that GNC stuff I was getting was very sweet. Like GNC's flavor was not bad. I don't know, I can't attest to like how good their actual product is. Now, the reason why I did switch from that is the isolate was giving me a really bad stomach ache. I was trying to take it multiple times a day. I guess he said that isolates do not work like that as like meal replacements. You should not go for an isolate if you're trying to replace meals and stuff. I, I honestly don't think that's gonna upset my stomach. I, I would say gold standards, all their flavors are kind of like lackluster. They are not overly sweet. Uh, and they're not overly flavored. Dude, you don't get this like huge flavor profile from it. Um, and I, I think some people like that. This was an enjoyable video. I'm gonna really have to edit because I have so much footage on my phone right now. I literally have like an hour and a half worth of footage. So appreciate the hustle. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress us. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to get on the JBL4 giveaway. I'll see ya. Ah.